Hey what's up guys welcome back to another exciting episode of iDevice guide and this is Puneet Khatri to help you guys and also I hope you're doing good. So basically guys you're watching this video because you just forgot the password for your Apple watch and yes uh, let me just also inform you that my Apple watch right over here is running watchOS 3 beta 2 and I have a device which is paired with it that's the iPhone 5 running iOS 10 beta 2. So guys basically if you have lost the password for your device or like you have lost the password for your Apple watch that's no need to worry because it would take just hardly 10 to 15 minutes to get back to your Apple watch same settings same configuration same data and working perfectly fine without a password. So without wasting any bit of time I think we should get right into this video so let's get started. Okay so guys what you need to do the very first thing is that just go ahead and tap and hold the button over here once you hold that button you would get the options so guys if you're not on watch os 3 you wouldn't get the emergency sos button in place you would get a power reserve button so what here you need to do is just go ahead and tap and hold the power off button once you release your finger after press and holding the power off button you would get erase all content and settings just go ahead and slide it and it would say that connect to a power source to proceed and what would it do is that it would erase all the data from your Apple watch unpaired it from your device and it would turn into a factory restored or a freshly restored Apple watch so let's go ahead and connect it to the power source okay so guys as you can see now it says connect to the power source so I'll just uh, add uh, connect it to the power source by connecting the power adapter now it says it is charging the Apple Watch also and it says are you sure that you want to continue and also it gives a warning to you guys that it would erase all the media, data and settings uh, on this Apple Watch and this cannot be undue. Okay so just go ahead and tap on the right arrow or the tick mark up right there and it would go ahead and delete all the data from your Apple Watch. Okay so guys I'll get back to you once the entire process is done and, and the Apple Watch is ready to pair up. Okay so guys as you can see up right here that the Apple watch is perfectly fine running right now and it's ready to be paired so let's go ahead and pair it to the Apple iPhone and restore the data onto the Apple watch. So I gotta select English, now I'm gonna select the country region India, it's setting the language. Okay so you can see it's ready for pairing just go ahead and tap on start pair. Also you need to take on to your device right now and what you need to do onto your device is something like this. Go ahead and swipe and tap on the Apple Watch application onto your device and you would get an option down below start pairing. So once you get that option you would uh, like hold the Apple Watch into the camera and like, let me just do this once. So once you do that successfully you can see that it says Apple Watch has been paired successfully and down right there you get an option to restore from backup. So you can restore it from the backups or whatever date. So you can see it gives me option, two options basically. One is a today's backup that is for 12.41 pm watch was 3.0 and one or the second one is the yesterday's backup that's 9.30 pm. So I can go ahead and restore today's 12.40 pm backup. So basically it is gonna take some time because it's gonna process everything and restore everything onto your Apple Watch. Okay, just go ahead and tap or agree, agree the terms and conditions. Okay, so guys, once the terms and conditions have been agreed, you would be asked to enter the password for your Apple ID. Once you enter the password for your Apple ID, just go ahead and tap on next. Okay, so guys, uh, once the entire process is done, the Apple Watch is up again and now you see there is no password on this. Yes, because once you restore the backup of the Apple Watch, the password is not there on the watch. So you can just go ahead and unlock the watch and all the data is there onto the watch. You can see everything, each and everything, whichever was there, like what all things or what all applications were there onto your device or your Apple Watch are perfectly there and running perfectly fine. So there is not at all problem. You don't lose any data during this process and you just go ahead and remove the password from your Apple Watch. That's about it guys. Now we finally come to the end of this video. I think you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, please do make sure to give a thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to iDevice Guide. And uh, I'll get back to you guys with the next video. Peace.